Today is Thursday, March 21st, AD 2024. This is the Africa Review in 5, written by Titus Cantrell and presented by Amikani Katunga. How to serve before kings in an age of unemployment. South Africa is facing a dire shortage of skilled workers, according to a recent article published by Anthony Squazine on Bloomberg. As businesses attempt to start or expand operations in what Squazine calls Africa's most industrialized economy, there are certain job openings that employers simply cannot find qualified candidates for. Most of these are in the areas of engineering, science, information technology, and management. Squazine writes, The skills shortage has been identified by the South African presidency as the second biggest impediment to economic growth after crippling power outages. The Department of Home Affairs releases an annual list of these critical skills designed to expedite the visa processes of foreigners who can fill these gaps. However, Squazine points out that less than 50% of these critical skills visas are approved and applications have declined significantly over the last decade. While the skill shortage presents a major challenge to South African businesses, Christian young people should also view it as an opportunity and a guide for their education and career choices. In contrast to some aging nations in Europe and Asia, South Africa has an abundance of working age people. South Africa's unemployment rate is the highest in the world, according to the most recent measurement from the World Bank, which places unemployment conservatively at 28.8%. However, there is a shortage of those with the critical skills that businesses are searching for. Those who are able to become proficient in these areas will be more prepared to provide for their family in a difficult economy. While many of the skills on the Home Affairs list require an advanced degree, such as industrial engineer, city planner, architect or medical practitioner, others are more hands-on requiring only a grade 11 education, such as air conditioning and refrigeration mechanic or metal machinist. Still others are available to those with a high school diploma who earn industry-specific certificates such as draftsman, air traffic controller, or energy engineering technologist. Some of these can be learned in one to two years at a trade school, others through on-the-job training, and still others through free online courses or library books. While many young people are searching for an easy job with a high salary, others are realizing that the key to success lies in the simple law of demand and supply. Rather than chasing your dreams per se, consider pursuing a career that is in high demand with low supply and which you could reasonably become skillful at based on an honest assessment of your God-given abilities and opportunities. Skillful labor is extolled in scripture. Proverbs 22 verse 29 says, Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. The word used here for skill refers to the excellence which comes from experience. James Swanson defines it as executing an action in a prompt and prudent manner, implying rapidity and diligence to the task. As a wise father, Solomon urged his son to gaze on the skillful craftsman and consider the reward of his labor. Perhaps even as he taught this lesson, Solomon pointed towards one of the men who had labored seven years on the temple and thirteen years on his palace. Certainly, Israel's wisest and wealthiest king knew the difference between poor and excellent craftsmanship, and he encouraged his sons to emulate the latter. Similarly, in the book of Exodus, Bezalel and Aholiab's skills are described in detail as God tells Moses about the two men he had equipped for the construction of the tabernacle. These master craftsmen were likely trained under the best goldsmiths and jewelers in Egypt. Now, after being freed from bondage, they were given the opportunity to execute God's building plans for an Edenic sanctuary in the desert. Their skilled hands cut, carved, and wove according to God's command for glory and beauty. Skillful labor honors God in obedience to the Adamic mandate to subdue the earth. Not only that, 
it usually comes with a blessing of earthly reward and honor. As South African businesses search for skilled laborers, Christian young people should work towards excellence in their profession. This will allow them to consistently provide for their families, contribute to the prosperity of their nation, and generously support the church and those in need. And that's it for the Africa Review and Five on this Thursday, March 21st, in the year of our Lord 2024. Subscribe to the Missionary Minds podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. I'm Yamikani Katunga. Be not wary in well doing.